Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking you through some of my favorite protein products. Now they're also gonna be some of my favorite all time products because you guys know that my hair loves protein and a lot of my favorite products do contain protein. Not all of them, but a lot of them do. So if you are looking to incorporate some protein into your routine, then keep watching this video. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, why you would need protein, if you need protein, then have a watch of my protein moisture balance video first before you watch this video and let's go ahead. First up is shampoos and conditioners. My all time favourite protein containing shampoo and conditioner is a shampoo and conditioner that you've definitely seen on my channel before and if you follow me on Instagram you've definitely seen me talk about them on there as well and that is the Naughty to the Rescue shampoo and conditioner. So they actually both contain wheat amino acids which is a little bit further down than halfway down the ingredients so they're not super super proteiny but they're a great introduction into protein. Next up is a shampoo that is pretty high in protein I would say and that is the Flora and Curl Superfruit Shampoo. Now this contains hydrolyzed wheat protein and it's the sixth ingredient in the ingredients list so that means it is quite concentrated. So I really really like this. This is definitely a clarifying shampoo. It can make my hair feel a little bit dry after using it but that just means that it's done its job and when you pair it up with the super moisturizing conditioner it absolutely like balances it out so I've been pairing this with the flora and curl leave-in detangler which has amazing slip and I believe that is protein free so they're like a great pair next up is another of my favorite shampoos and that is the bounce curl clarifying shampoo now this is definitely a gentler clarifying shampoo it doesn't have the stripping effect that some clarifying shampoos can and it doesn't leave your hair feeling squeaky clean so if that is something that you are after sort of like a shampoo that it just feels like your natural oils in your hair, like it doesn't feel like it's been stripped clean of everything. And it contains hydrolyzed baobab seed protein. Hydrolyzed baobab, baobab. It's testing me, it's really testing me. And it's fairly high up the ingredients list. So again, it's gonna give you a nice little kick of protein. Lastly is a shampoo I've been using recently from a small business and that is the Natural Kind Cranberry and Black Pomegranate Shampoo. So this is sulfate free. All of these shampoos and conditioners that I've mentioned are sulfate and silicone free, by the way. And this contains hydrolyzed wheat protein. And this is very, very similar to the Flora and Curl one. I really find them to be quite similar shampoos. Like they leave my hair feeling the same. So if you like this, then you might like this. And likewise, again, this is quite clarifying, but the conditioner that comes with this completely balances that out. The conditioner is super moisturizing. It makes my hair feel really lovely and it has amazing slip. So if you do have a clarifying shampoo that can make your hair feel a bit dry, just make sure to pair it up with a really nice nourishing moisturizing conditioner. And that is it for shampoos and conditioners. So let's move on to leave-ins and curl creams. So first up is a leave-in conditioner that I've been using for years you've heard me talk about it before and it is the Naughty Intensive Care Leave-In Conditioner. This is a really lovely lightweight leave-in conditioner. It contains wheat amino acids but it's quite far down the ingredients list so it's not super super proteiny. It's just a lovely lightweight leave-in conditioner and I like to pair it with either the Hay Curl Jelly from Naughty or the Giovanni LA Hold Gel. But to be honest this goes very well with pretty much all of my gels so... It's a good one. Next up is my all time favorite curl cream and that is the Briogeo Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Avocado Leave-In Defining Cream. This cream contains quite a lot of protein and I think that's why my hair likes it. So let's have a little look at all the proteins that it contains. So there is rice extract, hydrolyzed quinoa, keratin amino acid, hydrolyzed corn protein, hydrolyzed wheat protein, hydrolyzed soy protein. There's a lot of protein in here. It's packed with protein. So if you you're looking for a high protein cream this is definitely a good one to try I love using this under either the Giovanni LA hold gel or the Aussie instant freeze gel those are like my holy grail combinations I've worn that combo to many a special occasion and 
had lots of compliments on my hair. Next up is a curl cream that I was introduced to this year and if you follow me on Instagram you'll have heard me talk about it and that is the Living Proof Curl Enhancer. So this is kind of like a curl cream curl enhancer for wavy hair and fine hair or hair that gets weighed down easily. So it's perfect for me especially because like the top layers of my hair can get quite weighed down and like the top layers are definitely more wavy than curly. When I first used this curl enhancer I didn't realise that it contained protein but it kind of acted in my hair as if it did contain protein. It gives me really like juicy ringlets at the bottom of my hair, like really juicy curl clumps and nothing really stood out to me in the ingredients list as a protein but I'm not a product formulator. So I did contact the brand and they said that it contains an amino acid called methiopeptide which is a biomimetic source of methionine, an amino acid known to contribute to hair strength and elasticity. I don't know if I said any of those terms correctly so don't quote me on the pronunciation, but this is a lovely curl cream that I am really enjoying. Recently, it's very concentrated, so you really do not need to use a lot at all. Let me just show you like just a small amount. And this happens with most curl creams. See how concentrated it is. So you really don't need to use a lot at all but do be sure to apply it with lots of water. And that goes for like most curl creams, to be honest, like for me anyway. I just use a very small amount and I apply them to soak in wet hair, so they disperse through my hair evenly. But this is another lovely curl cream that I've really been enjoying this year. Another protein cream that I was introduced to this year because it came out this year is the Curlsmith Featherlight Protein Cream from their new protein line. The protein line is the purple line. So this is a really lovely protein cream and I would say it's fairly high in protein because hydrolyzed rice protein is pretty high up in the ingredients list. So again, if you're looking for a protein kick, this would be a nice one to try. And lastly is another curl cream that I've been trying out recently and that is the Floor and Curl Curl Activating Lotion. And this contains hydrolyzed soy protein and hydrolyzed wheat protein. The hydrolyzed soy protein is fairly high up and then the wheat protein is a bit further down. But this does give a nice protein boost and I've just been trying this one out over the last few weeks. I did try it out a few years ago and I didn't get the best results with it. But I was recently gifted this again and I'm just getting much better results with it. It just goes to show that sometimes if a product doesn't work for you, it might work for you later on down the line. Next up is gels and foams. So first up is my absolute holy grail gel and you guys know that and that is the Giovanni LA Hold Gel. This contains a very small amount of protein and it's not hydrolyzed so it might not make a difference to some people. So what it contains is soybean seed extract and it's about halfway down the ingredients list but I really like this gel in general. Next up is another of my favorite gels and if you're looking for a super proteiny gel then this is the one for you and it is the Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel. So this is a light hold gel and it contains a lot of protein. Whenever I kind of like need to do a protein treatment but haven't got time, I always use this gel because I know that it's gonna give me the boost that I need. And then because it's a light hold gel, I'll usually use like a stronger hold gel on top, just a small amount like of the Giovanni LA Hold Gel or something like that. So this contains hydrolyzed wheat protein and hydrolyzed oat protein and they are the sixth and seventh ingredients. So they're quite high up. And this is definitely a proteiny gel if ever there was one. Next up is another fairly protein gel and that is the Briogeo Curl Charisma Gel. So it's from the same line as this cream but when paired together I found that they can cause flash drying on the hair so if you're not a fan of flash drying then perhaps don't buy both of these just one or the other or use them with different products. I haven't used this one in a while because I did run out but this was recently gifted to me. I used to get really good results with this when I use it in combination with some other gels. So doing like the one two three gel method for example that honestly Liz on Instagram came up with. So that's when you use three different gels that you overall use the same amount of gel that you would use on a normal wash day, but you just kind of split it across different gels for different benefits, if that makes sense. And again, it's got quite a lot of protein in it, like the cream has in this line. It contains hydrolyzed quinoa, keratin amino acids, hydrolyzed corn protein, hydrolyzed wheat protein, hydrolyzed soy protein. So again, it's very proteiny and it's kind of like, it's a lightweight hold, but very proteiny. 
Next up is another of my favourite gels and that is the Curly Girl Movement Curl Defining Gel. This gel makes my hair really shiny, it has a really good hold, it gives me great definition and it has quite a lot of protein in it. It has hydrolyzed corn protein, hydrolyzed soy protein, hydrolyzed wheat protein. So it's got quite a lot of protein and I would say it's quite proteiny because they're not like really low down on the ingredients list. They're about halfway through maybe a little bit higher up. I don't find it to be drying at all. I actually find it to be quite moisturizing. I don't find I need to use a cream under this, but other people may have different experiences, but I really, really like this gel. Next up is a new gel that I've been trying out recently, and that is the new Shape Up Aqua Gel from Curlsmith. I've only tried this gel a couple of times so far, but I've had really good definition, especially on like the underneath of my hair. It's definitely a lighter hold gel, so I'd recommend pairing it with a stronger hold gel over the top if you're looking for extra hold. So following on nicely from that gel is a foam from the same line that I've been absolutely loving recently. This is a styling foam and it's quite high in protein. It's got hydrolyzed rice protein as the fifth ingredient and then it's got hydrolyzed hemp seed extract and this gives me a really good boost of volume. It gives a little bit of grit to my hair as well and I really like pairing it with the cream underneath and the Hydro Style Flexi Jelly on top and I also like using it with this gel on top. This combination gives me a really good hold. So I've been absolutely loving this recently. I really like it and you can see how much I like it because there isn't much left. This is really good to refresh with as well. So yeah, if you're looking for something to give you a bit of texture, a bit of volume, and a protein boost, then this is definitely a product I would recommend. And last but definitely not least in the stylers is another foam, and that is the Flora and Curl Curl Volumizing Foam that I've been really loving as well recently. I've been putting this on top of the Curl Activating Lotion and getting really good results, and I've also been pairing these two with this gel on top as well. I was so this has pretty much all the same benefits for me as the other foam that I just mentioned and the protein that this contains is hydrolyzed rice protein, hydrolyzed soy protein. But this is a really, really lovely foam and yeah, I've just been loving it recently. So now we are on to treatments. Now for me, protein treatments are a really like vital step in my hair care routine and my protein treatment of choice is a gelatin treatment and I just do that with a little sachet of gelatin and I mix it with water and I put it on my hair, put my hair up, put it in a shower cap and let it sit for about an hour. However, if you are just starting out, dipping your toes into the world of protein treatments and you wanna try a DIY gelatin treatment, I would recommend mixing this with a bit of hot water and then mixing some conditioner in as well and leave it on your hair for like 10, 15 minutes max on your first time and just see how your hair responds. If it gives you good results and your hair doesn't feel dry or anything afterwards, then perhaps leave it for a little bit longer the next time. But yeah, my protein treatment of choice is always a gelatin treatment just because it's just so cheap, easy to get. I know it's not vegetarian, but I will be covering some vegetarian treatments next. So next up is a treatment that isn't actually a protein treatment, but it does contain protein. So I thought I would include it anyway, and that is the Curlsmith Bond Curl. So it's actually a bond treatment. So it repairs broken bonds in your hair, but it does contain protein as well. It contains chia seed extract. If you're looking for a protein treatment, don't buy this, but it, it does have other benefits as well well as the bond repairing side of it. So I really like this treatment. Next up are a couple of vegetarian DIY treatments that you could do at home. The first one is a rice water rinse. Some people like to just do it as a rinse, so literally like boil rice and let the water cool down and then pour that over their hair and let it sit for a little bit. And other people like to let the actual water sit and cool down and kind of like thicken and then put it as like a treatment on their hair. And the other one is a beer rinse. So with a beer rinse, you get the protein from the yeast and the grains and it's kind of like a mild protein treatment. The rice water rinse and the beer rinse will be like milder protein treatments. So there you go, some of my favorite protein containing products. Obviously there are so many more protein products in the world, there's so many out there, but those are just my go-to. So hopefully you found that helpful. When it comes to like how 
often I use them. I pretty much use protein products on every single wash day and if I don't use it one wash day, I'll make sure to use it on the next wash day. But I always try to use at least one product that does contain protein in my wash day and I usually make sure that at least one of my stylers contains protein. So if my cream doesn't, then my gel will, vice versa. I really hope you found this video helpful and let me know your favorite protein containing products in the comments below and perhaps we can help each other out with different protein product recommendations. If you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give it a like, leave a comment and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you soon. Bye guys.